Morning, it's day four of the cycle ride from Greece to England and I thought I'd show you a map of the area I'm about to cover. Now I've not done this before with a camera in the hand so no doubt it's going to go all wobbly at some point but I am somewhere over here, actually I'm a little bit off the map so I need to follow the coastal route which I think will be by the sea again, it should be quite a nice ride to a place called Rio, not in Brazil, in Greece obviously and between Rio and Anti-Rio there's uh, a really nice bridge. Uh, I'm not allowed on the bridge, it's only for vehicles, but there is a ferry and I believe I can get the ferry for free. Once I'm on the other side, uh, the choice of roads then is limited, so I need to take this main road and follow that all the way to Mesologi. There is an alternative route uh, to bypass Mesologi, uh, but it's going to take longer and it's hillier, so this is the route I've chosen to take. Uh, it's about a 100 km cycle ride. As I said, I think this, uh, this initial part will be quite nice cycling. I'm not expecting much out of this main road. I think it would just be a case of getting my head down and get the miles in. So that's it for now, and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers. Hi there, just stopping off for a quick break and I hope you can hear me with all the traffic going by outside which is why I'm wearing this earphone so it can record a little bit better. Uh, having a coffee and a Dorofida, which is a cheese pie, which I think every cyclist should have at about 12 o'clock. Done about 30 kilometers, so 60 still left to do. Uh, only 20 until I get to the ferry though. And uh, so the ferry crossing should be just like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So I'm expecting to reach Mesolongi for about 4 o'clock at the latest, perhaps 5 o'clock. And that's about it for now, apart from one more thing, yes, this is a new t-shirt. I knew you'd be impressed. Cheers for now. Yes. 
so slightly different surroundings tonight. I made it to Mesolonghi and this is the hotel room that I had pre-booked. Uh, this is 28 euros, which I think is pretty good. I uh, did a 100 kilometer cycle ride today, so yeah, I think I deserve staying in a hotel room tonight. Why not? Why not? Let's give you a little guided tour, see what we get for 28 euros. So this is the bathroom, nice hot water. Uh, Greek bathrooms have these little tiny baths, it's like a 1500 bath, which I don't know why, because everyone uses the shower anyway. But uh, there we go, that's more than good enough for me. And over here we have a big bed, which I'm quite looking forward to after a couple of nights in the tent. And as you can see, I've spread myself around. Got some work to do on the laptop. Just because I've cycled 100 kilometers doesn't mean I can not work, you know what I mean? Some more gear that's ready for tomorrow. Uh, this room's got a fridge as well, although I'm not using the fridge. I have got my gear plugged into the plug socket and it all appears to be charged. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, there's a desk to do some work on, but there is no plug socket near it, so which is a bit pointless really. So, although it has got a mirror. Oh, there's a handsome chap there, hello. And that's about it. So tomorrow's cycle ride should be about 86 kilometers. And there should be an all-you-can-eat buffet breakfast for five euros tomorrow morning. So I'm going to check it out and then abuse it and then leave on my cycle ride. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Cheers.